Hi you guys, Mademoiselle B here, Say Biz, what's your superpower? So today we're going to talk about the floor high. I understand that not everyone likes the floor hive, like not everyone likes a top bar hive. So I have decided to talk with Rebecca. She was one of the first crowd funder. I questioned her about a personal opinion on the floor hive. Um, I hope you're going to find this very helpful. I got it when it was first released. Well, I've been thinking about beekeeping for a couple of years, looked into my options. Um, then when I saw the floor hive come up, I saw it as a new option that I think would thought would not have to get equipment to extract. It was really important um, that the kids could be involved as well by looking into the hive. Um, but just the ease of extraction I think was one thing that appealed to me particularly about the flow hive. And prepare yourself like if, if you were getting a regular hive the preparation and education shouldn't be any different. Do a course, um, make contact with a local beekeeping group and um, preferably get a mentor <coughs> to, <laughs> to um, guide you and support you because even though in the first couple of months you feel like you might be on top of it, there are other things that come up constantly that you need problem solving help with. Um, and and learn how to put up a good argument for why you've chosen to have a fly hive. There's been a couple of highlights, so getting the day I got my bees was pretty exciting. I guess the, the obvious one is the first um, extraction was pretty exciting. thing is not expect that you're going to um, get honey straight away because it doesn't work like that and it's not what it's about really. That's not what it's about for me, the honey. Um, and, and it's a long term commitment as well. But yeah, you've got to adjust yourself to each season and, and commit to the jobs that you have as you go along. <laughs> Had a few moments where I've thought, well, why am I doing this? is when the bees haven't really wanted to wanted me to be in the hive when I've done hive inspections and mm -hmm. um, stinging me <laughs> um, that's probably the yeah they're probably the days no. that I haven't enjoyed being a beekeeper but then the next time I go into hive, the hive the bees will be fine so I also know now that mm. it varies some days are fine and other days um, are a bit more challenging as a beekeeper. Well, yeah. I think when I first got the hive, when I actually got it, I wished that I had got a hybrid hive. So I did tweak the hive to start with and put some um, regular frames in there, either side of the flow frames. And then since then, I've now got a separate um, um, manly box where I get honeycomb from as well and I also like the idea that the bees have got an opportunity to make their own comb. That's all I need. Um, thank you so much. That's okay. And we will surely see you another time. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it feels so great. Please go and check out Rebecca's Instagram account. She is an awesome artist. I love her work. She has lots of bee inspired work. And now that's it. See you next time.